after you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. See ya! What's going on my fellow Fuzz Butts? Zobble the Circle here and I'm back with another video just to educate my people. And some of you may be wondering why I am out of suit, but we are kicking it off with another installment of the First Suiting 101 series. And in this episode, we're going to be explaining to you guys exactly how to take care of your body suits, how to clean them, and things of that nature. But since I myself don't have a body suit, we'll, we'll, we will have Babby walk us through the steps and all that so that she can give you guys a hands-on demonstration as to how to go about doing those things and here we go into the bathroom of cold <laughs> and wait wait where are we behind the door <laughs> here we got our handy dandy bodysuit right here i think i got a little bit of smudge on the camera let me rub you guys off yeah here here we are yeah <laughs> I'm trying to mix the scent beads I put in here. Yeah, so right now the first thing that we did is we ran just a nice little bath. You know, Very it's, cold water. Yeah, very cold water and shallow. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't need a very, like, a super deep Filled. pool or whatever. And for your whites, to keep them nice and white like my bodysuit is, Oxy. Yeah, make sure you go with the good old Oxys because... Those little oxygen beads, it's not sponsored, but you know, those little oxygen beads are gonna help you out along the way. And um, isn't one of the reasons why it's good to use cold water instead of warm water? Is like so that like the, the fabric hot, doesn't like stretch it and stuff like that. Warm and hot water will destroy the synthetic fibers that make up your fur. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks, because I <laughs> did not know that. <laughs> I knew about the cold water thing, but I didn't know exactly why the cold water thing was a cold water thing. The only time I use warm water is like when we spot, spot cleaned his head. Yeah. That was very... It was more cold than warm, but it was warm-ish. Yeah, and like that was just a small amount on a small part of the yeah. suit. So you just kind of... Use some, some good old legs at leg action just to marinate that. You can use your arms if you want to. Well, it would. Oh. Just to work like up said, a nice lather. Like I said, I got scent beads in there if you can see them. I can grab one. Yeah, one of the, uh, what, what, what brand are they? Yeah. I don't know what brand they are, but. Uh, they're the Downy Febreze scent beads. They're the pink yeah. ones. And they keep your suit smelling nice and fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. Well, that headband gave up. Because, like, one of the main things is that. Whenever you're uh whenever you're uh suiting, make sure that you have clothes on underneath your bodysuit because preferably under armor, but if you cannot afford under armor, go with whatever. <laughs> yeah, just wear something because that'll limit the amount of sweat that your bodysuit absorbs. It'll still absorb sweat over time, but that'll make it be significantly less. Yeah. Bodysuit right here. Let's get in. I have mine inside out because that's mainly why I'm focusing on washing. I uh, can put it in either way. And just kind of give it a little razzle dazzle, yeah. make sure it's completely submerged. You have to have those old timey washing machines, you know. You need All right. that. Just not the ringer out part. <laughs> yeah. Just, it in there. just make sure you get, you know, the entire suit completely submerged. I mean, of course, if you want to bleach your suit, you can, but I wouldn't recommend having your feet in the water while you're no, bleach soaking your suit. Well, technically, I wouldn't be stepping, but it, it's a hassle for me to stay bent over for a long period of time. Because, you know, her, her back is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's kind of get some of that action on. Yeah. And about how long do you recommend letting this soak for? About 15 minutes. About a good 15 minutes. Yeah. And of course, since I don't have a bodysuit, I just kind of improvise with the good old Kigurumi that I'm wearing right now up until I can actually get a bodysuit for Zabu, which will be in the, the distant future. But whatever. I'll probably start off by doing a uh, three-quarter partial 
you know, but like, you know, some arm sleeves and stuff like that. But, you know, more on that as it develops. Okay, we All right, so we, we got a couple of rinses in there because it was a little bit more sudsy than what we would have liked. So we had to rinse it a couple times. Takes a little bit of motor skills to <laughs> kind of squeeze those little parts out. But as you can see, there is no drippage. Well, there's a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Still. Oh, well, minimum drippage. <laughs> your and limbs. It is very heavy. Yeah, your limbs. So pretty much, yeah, just squeeze it up until the point where you have minimum drippage. And then we're ready for phase three, which is the <laughs> drying process. <laughs> Pause. Yay, outside. All right, we're outside. We'll probably put it over here. Yeah, lay it a uh, long ways. Yeah. I would have it on the clothesline, but clothes are on the line. It's kind of... Oh, wait, is that long ways? No. Oh, that's not. Yeah. Because you just, you want to lay it in a fashion that all the weight isn't just tugging on itself. Yeah. That's why you don't want to, like, hang it straight from the, uh, from, like, the arms. Because it'll just stretch that top portion all the way yeah. down. But like just just this little bit of hangage right here, that much is fine. Yeah. Like but you know, if you're, if you're a little paranoid about it, you can just add something to take the weight off of it. Yeah. But that table's kind of dirty, so I won't do that. Yeah. We just got done cleaning it. But yeah, and after that, depending on what the weather's like, it's not really warm out here, so. It's windy though. Yeah, it'll nice. take a little bit for it to dry. It rained this morning, so hopefully it won't rain again. <laughs> yeah. And after that, you just pretty much let it dry and after that it's done. If you can't lay it outside, you can put it like a if you have a big box fan or a high powered fan, you can put it in front of that. Now uh, keep it in the shower, though that way it drips. Cause see it's dripping right there. And it's Already. gonna. Just make sure that most of the weight of the suit is still supported. Yeah. And as far as the time frame on how often you need to do this. Uh, um, depending on how often you're in suit. Yeah. Cause that's how often you're in suit, you know how long you stay in suit and how long it's been since you've done the thing. Because like, for example, if you're suiting a lot, then you want to kind of clean it on the regular. I'd say go ahead and clean your suit when you get back from a con. Yeah. Uh, like as soon as you get back, go ahead and soak it, clean it down. Especially if it's starting to work up a smell because those smells like the stick. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like worst comes to worst once you get done at a con, because you know, you've been romping around for three, four plus days. It's gonna work up a whole lot of sweat. So yeah, just once you get home, throw that bad baby in there, do the steps that we told you, and yeah, you'll be a nice, clean, and wonderful smelling fursuiter. Some suits are machine washable, uh, but I'd ask your maker uh, yeah. at that point. Cause you don't wanna just throw it into the wash and then it completely ruin the suit, cause that could happen. Yeah. So yeah, just get the information be beforehand. So, yeah. Well, all right, I guess that does it for this installment of Cleaning Body Suits. There will be more Fursuit 101 videos in the near future, so as of right can, now. You can also do the same thing with uh, your tail, hand paws, and feet paws if your shoes are removable. Yeah. And uh, you, you can, there, there's even some heads that you can wash that way. Yeah, I know uh, Blurry's heads, I think, now are all yeah. machine washable. Her foam heads. Yeah. You just throw it in there, you know, pretty resilient. It's nice, good stuff. But yeah. I have fur all over my hands and it's just blowing on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, as always, my name is Abel the Circle, along with Queen Babylon, and we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>